So TJ, tell me, like, where did you start cooking and like what got you into this industry? I started cooking uh, underneath my house in Manila, Philippines, when I was six years old, peeling <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> So everybody that's watching, uh, Chefs in the Hood is a collaborative chef's dinner that my friends and I put together and now my business partners in this endeavor. We wanted to create something, something fun for people to do in the city in the kind of shoulder season because there's so much to do in the summertime. And we also wanted to create something that we could donate uh, a good portion of it to, to charity and really kind of help out with uh, a, good, a good cause. So for this one, we're doing Dan's Legacy, which helps with uh, wastage from uh, grocery stores. So uh, repurposing all that food and turning it into something that they can sell and create money for their, uh, to teach children how to cook. But just as importantly is throwing a kick-ass event in the city that people are gonna wanna go to year over year over year. So, you know, here's to the second Chefs in the Hood and here's to many, many more. So we have a uh, vitello tonato, uh, super traditional Italian dish, kind of like a veal carpaccio. And so it's got anchovies and capers and roasted garlic, Dijon mustard and everything all mixed together. Wow. Uh, and some olive oil powder, some fried capers and pickled onions on top. So really good. Yeah. Can I awesome. Get another one? Yeah, please. In Italian, it's called Vitello Tonato. Vitello Tonato. Yeah, Which super classic. Which part of Italy? Which part of Northern. Italy? Northern. Northern. Yeah. My family's from Venice, so. Veneto, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's your last name? Vianello. You guys do the amount. I'm always astounded about the amount of support. Well, the next one's just going to be bigger, so yeah, just get bigger and bigger and better. And then you look at Dan's legacy and what they're doing to give the youth of Vancouver an opportunity to have changed their life, develop some skills. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful to be involved in that. Thank you so much again. Absolutely. I'm with Sean from, uh, Chef Sean from the Pan Pacific, a uh, good buddy of mine. Uh, we box together. Yeah, he always wins. <laughs> always wins. Uh, can you explain your dish for us, Sean? Yeah, so we've got a little lamb neck slider here. So we've got some lamb neck with basically some Moroccan spices, a little black garlic aioli, a butternut squash for mesco. We made a milk bun and done some candied olives on top, kind of resemble like a sesame seed. Spicy, rich, fatty, good finger food. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much again for That's being a part so of this. Felix. By the camera. Oh, talk, talk to the camera. So. I love no, this guy. No, no, okay. So, this is, this is Felix Zhao from Heritage Asian Are you Eater. wearing a mic? I am. Yeah. It's for my YouTube channel. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, we're gonna, we're gonna have a conversation. So Felix, can you, uh, how did you get your start in the industry? I love to eat. Yeah? I love to eat, so I want, I want to get as close to you as possible. Okay. Like, you know what, let's go, let's cook. Nice. Where did you start cooking? Like professionally? West Restaurant. Nice. Where did you go after that? Did you go to me a place right after that? And after that was uh, London, UK. Nice. Nice. How long were you in London for? Two years. Awesome. How? Where? Uh, Simon Rogan. Organic. So now uh, they just reopened and now they just recently just started this year. Shit, dude. That's awesome, man. I worked in the UK too. I worked, I worked in uh, St. Andrews for two years. So. Amazing. Yeah. Dude, thanks for coming. Thanks for being a part of this. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. DJ Shami, auction is closed. We'll collect your prizes by the projector screen a little bit here. Have a drink, have some fun. Winner, come up here. Thank you so much. We did it. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Um, hello. So, everybody watching, we are here with Chef TJ Conwy. What's up? He is part owner of uh, Ono, 
Uh, they do a lot of really great things, consulting, catering. Uh, and isn't shit a, like and, this. You can't this shit. Well, yeah, go, go. Yeah. You, you rip, and you go shit rip. shit like this, man. Like this. We do big like things this. like this. Like this. With Chef Alessandro over here. Without this guy, it wouldn't be nothing. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Let's do convention center next time. What do you think, Chef, Alex, Chef Alessandro? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. You think we could do it? Right, no, that's a lot of that's work. That's a big, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. I want some people who are watching, I want them to learn a little bit about you. They know a bit about yeah. me, but yeah. I want them to know how awesome Awesome that I think you are and yes. I want them to know why you're so awesome so so TJ tell me like where did you start cooking and like what got you into this industry I started cooking uh, underneath my house in Manila Philippines when I was six years old peeling <laughs> potatoes that's when I started cooking I got paid with the ice, shaved ice ice cream that you get at the end of dessert I went on to Vancouver I got to Vancouver in 94 and fell in love with the city fell in love with this with this job and fell in love with the culture of cooking and now I'm here I'm here hanging out with some awesome chef like Chef Alessandro Bruce Nollard is my my partner, we do some awesome fucking. Oh shit, I got. I got you gotta edit that. I gotta like, stop swearing. So we got Felix Zhao over here. I get to meet fucking awesome chefs like this. But you know, we, we're doing good things. We're doing good things for the community. We're doing good things for our community of chefs. That's that's what we do, man. This is this is what we do. We got Chef Gus over here. Gus, come in here. Yeah, come on over, man. Say hi. This is what we hey, do, guys. man. We bring you this. This is what we bring you. <laughs> Not only that you get to eat good food, you get to enjoy it with the fact that you're raising money, man.